Okay, before I start going into the seasons proper, there's one tiny thing that I forgot to mention in the last part. Why I prefer this show over Top Chef, because I do prefer it, it's simple. Because Ramsay, when he's making his decisions, frequently he will um, use the entire progression of the contestant in his decision making, even though there are tons of times where he'll eliminate somebody because they just had one bad service because it's pretty spectacular, but I prefer that mode of decision making versus Top Chef's nothing matters except this one round, because with this system, usually the better person wins. Okay. Now, season one of this show, um... It definitely feels introductory season, because the lighting is a lot poorer, the um, intensity of it is fairly weak, although let me tell you, there are some tense moments. The willingness of the contestants to admit their feelings is a little lower, and um, there's things that you aren't used to seeing, such as no battle of the sexes, Contestants complaining to um, Ramsey and Ramsey himself having some confessionals. And then there's the fact that the supporting staff um, don't um, help move the story along as much in this season as they do in the next bit. Because um, Jean Philippe, he doesn't have like any gags, though he does have that confrontation with the person who orders the pizza. And then Scott, he doesn't get on the contestants as much as he does in later seasons. And then Mary Ann, even though I think they improved with her a little bit in the future seasons, I just felt like she was there to um, support Scott, really. They never were able to do much with her, so maybe a super fan of the show who knows a lot more about Gordon Ramsay and his um, staff can give me a little bit of information, I don't know. Um... And also, why is it that you only had five women and seven men, even though Dewberry's appearance will throw you off a little bit at first, especially since I've actually looked it up and learned that his Dewberry is either his middle or last name. His real name is actually Jeff. <laughs> what, the, what are the chances? Yeah. But seriously, you could have easily made it even. Why didn't you? Right. Oh, and, um, the results for this season, um, that was definitely the right people that got, um, father, and that was definitely the, uh, right winner, although, as Ramsey himself points out, there really wasn't much that separated the two. They were both competent chefs, although what the winner did after this season... <sighs> Man, talk about a downturn, buddy, yeah. Because, like, I had you pegged as the winner since, like, the halfway point. Because there was just something about that person's confessionals, yeah. But it's good for um, what it is, you just gotta remember it's the first season, so set your expectations lower. Season 2. Well, if you watched my uh, Big Brother 9 review, you remember that I called this one of the worst seasons of reality TV that I've seen, and, um... It's definitely on the low end, but I think I've seen a few things since then, a lot of future seasons of the show that are worse than this, but it's definitely not um, a fun experience, because even though you've got the battle of the sexes and uh, more traditional confrontations with the chefs between each other and with the uh, supporting staff, along with Ramsey starting to um, overrule decisions that the contestants make in terms of um, nominations. The season just had this negative tone right from the get-go, and it just never recovered. Now, I don't deny that this season was moody, but that had more to do with the lighting, to be honest. Like, this just... Ugh, negative from the get-go, like with Big Brother 2, although I don't know if I'll um, still feel that way when I rewatch it. And, um, it was harder for me to get behind rooting for the contestants because the, uh, good contestants weren't, um, as competent as I think the first season's cast was, and then, um, of course, there's the infamous moment that occurs towards the end of it. Yeah, 
Oh, I mean, like, the winner is excellent, but that's really the saving grace for this season, that we had a good winner. A lot of the other things just... Not that great, but, um, as I think I mentioned in the first part, it's been literally, um, seven to nine years since I've seen half of these seasons that I'm discussing, so I'm a completely different person. Now, who knows? Maybe I'll have a more pleasant viewing experience, because usually when I rewatch a reality season that I have said that I'm not as big a fan of, it's usually better the second time around. Hmm. We'll see. Season 3, which was actually the first um, episode of Hell's Kitchen that I ever saw, along with what I like to call the last quiet season, because things get a lot more dynamic after this season. Um, I, I enjoyed it, because it felt like there was a lot more of an even playing field, even though this meant that um, a lot of the executive or higher position chefs were... Um, well, they sucked, but as Ramsey jokes about at the beginning of the seventh season, experience before this show doesn't totally matter. It's, can you do it when the pressure's on you? What? And, like, do you honestly think that he himself got to that position overnight? No. Right. So, yeah, I, uh, liked this cast, you could tell that they, you, it felt like they had to work um, through a lot more to um, beat each other and then get the nod of approval from Ramsey and also um, even though I'm reasonably positive that like with the uh, first two seasons um, I think I'm going to have to start venturing into spoiler territory um, now, uh, even though I'm pretty sure that the only um, service that everyone truly completed was the last one, you felt like these guys were closer to that point. And, um, the winner? Yeah, I approve of, um, this winner. It wasn't as smooth as, um, Michael and Heather, because Rock here was actually nominated, um, once, and then he definitely struggled a couple of other times, but yeah, there was just something about it from the start that made you go, this seems to be one of the better people here, but who knows? Maybe when we watch it, I'll have more faith in some of the others, I don't know. It's a nice season, but I think I uh, kind of rambled there. Oh, and um, what about the rumors that there was a 13th contestant? Well, you notice that um, in the bit where they're all doing the signature dish bit, and then there's half of the contestants on a tier that's like a one foot above the others. Well, why is there a gap between The Rock and... I mean, The Rock? <laughs> rock! And one of the other people? Yeah, it wouldn't make any sense unless somebody else had been standing there. Yeah, I'm amazed I just didn't put two and two together that much sooner. So yeah, that definitely happened. Season 4, and this is where the uh, show becomes a lot more like um, the show that we know today, because um, the dynamic and intensity of it went up quite a lot. Um, it felt faster paced, despite the fact that the episodes are the exact same. Um... There's a, uh, definitely a huge dividing line between, um, the talented people and the less talented people, even though the ironic thing about that is for this season and the two that come after this, once you lose the less talented people, some of the talented people really start, um, not performing as well. It's like the oddest thing. Because, like, I'm Corey, she was... One of the best people on the red team, despite the fact that Ramsey, you know, obviously yelled at her quite a lot. And then you get to the individual part, and then she starts getting worse. Hmm? And then you've also got, um, gags being used in the, the show a lot more, which is fairly enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> so... This was definitely a boost to this show that it's unneeded. Oh, granted, there are some people that were like, oh. 
to um, watch, but when you think about it, you have to deal with that more often on reality shows than you don't, I think, and that's become a trademark of this show since, so, mm hmm Now, let me d discuss the winner of this season, because this is one of the more controversial winners. Here's the thing. If you had told me at any point before I started watching the finale of that season that Christina had beat Petroza, who I had pegged as being one of the top two from right around the halfway point, I would have said, Ramsey is absolutely insane, what the hell is he thinking? But then, I watched the finale, and then I saw just how competent and skilled Christina was at managing other chefs, and I was like, holy crap, I want her to win! Yeah, <laughs> what the heck, right? <laughs> so, there's definitely a bunch of people out there that say that Ramsey made the wrong decision? I think he made the right one, to be honest. Yeah. And then I'm replacing Mary Ann with that um, Gloria chick. Well, I felt like they used her even less than um, Mary Ann, to be honest. And given how she was uh, more kind to the uh, contestants, that kind of... Um, uh, less than the stakes, maybe? I don't know. Just... Didn't get into her. Mm -hmm. Season 5, um, this took everything that the fourth season did, and then it um, improved upon it, because, like, the funny stuff was even better, the chefs were more skilled, the blow-ups were even more fun to watch, and just... Yeah. Took everything that was good, made it better, and the bad stuff stayed at just about the same level. That's what we all can say about it. A good season, good winner, good um, finalists, despite the fact that um, a bunch of them choked. This is one of the be better seasons of this show. Easily. And the same can mostly be said for this season, minus... Um, a couple of odd things that happened at the beginning of it, because, like, um, bringing Robert back, um, I'm glad that they did that, because, you know, that was the first time someone who had, um, a lot of talent on the show ended up having to, um, withdraw, especially since it wasn't because he injured himself, it was just natural what's going on inside of him, that, that stinked, but, like, um, the way that they phrase it is that Ramsey has a plan to bring him back. You were always going to bring him back. You don't just walk into a building in L.A. after flying across multiple states, I presume, and then just accept to go on a reality show, okay? It doesn't work like that. And then, Louis blowing up. Now, I don't deny that those people on the show that um, self-destruct during the first service, we saw multiple people do that this season, multiple people do that in season 8, season 11, you get the idea, but... Uh, it's definitely fuel that the show, um, you know, had staged moments, even though I think Ramsey was legitimately, truly pissed off with Louis and all that stuff, but that chick he eliminated from the red team, she was bad too, and then Amanda and Lovely, like, huh? And also, what's the deal with almost everyone named Amanda on this show, regardless if it's US or UK, being incompetent? I think there's one that wasn't incompetent. Oh, what am I saying? Of course there was one that wasn't incompetent, I'll get to her later, but just, what's the deal with that? Yeah. And then Joseph. Uh, huh? He just goes off? Just like that? What the heck? And, like, if you watch the editing of that, you can definitely tell that they cut out some stuff that probably happened there. Because what happens is that as Joseph is walking up to Ramsey, there's a couple of guys that show up out of nowhere, but then you have this really sharp cut and an abrupt change in tone where Ramsey's like, oh god, you're whatever insult he says, and then he's like, get out of here. Joseph's like, ah, fine. And then he storms off, just like, huh? Something definitely happened there, let me tell you. 
But once you get past those first couple of episodes, blow-ups, even though the services themselves are really fun to watch, despite that, the season stops having real moments and again takes the approach of making the prior season better in terms of its strength level and keeping down the bad stuff. Although, um, this season, why did you um, do that um, swap towards the end? Because you didn't actually need to do that. The teams weren't imbalanced enough. I just really wish that Ramsey hadn't done that. And then I'm replacing um, Gloria with Heather. I didn't mind um, seeing her again, but um, they didn't do much with her. Again, Scott ruffled everyone else more than the, the, his uh, red team equivalent. It was just odd that they could never find somebody to um, compare to um, Scott, yeah. But, again, excellent season, excellent winner, and runner-up, too. Yeah. Okay, this is getting a little bit long. I'm making another pot.